We left at least three, uh, four, five. It's a whole row of, uh, a whole row of, uh, satellites in a row. At least five in a row. I don't know if you can see this. At least five in a row following each other. All going that way. What's that north, uh, northeast? There's Venus. Let's get Venus on the night, uh, on the night cam here. And they went right across the sky like that direction. Boom, just like that. There's another one. Holy smokes, that's the seventh one now. All heading the same direction. Oh, there's another one. Straight up. Right up there. He's pretty bright. That's much brighter than the other ones. You might be able to see that one. Boy, what activity. Tonight. It's had a little uh, little flare up there from the sun. The sun's set not too long ago. It's uh, 20 March. Let's go back over towards Venus there. There's another one coming the same way as the other seven. That's eight. And then plus the other one, we just saw nine. There's our fainter. I don't know if you can see him right there. He's right, uh, right there, right by that other star now. Another satellite of some sort or another. All heading that way. Man. I think I get the tripod out. Okay, let's get back to that night mode there. Nice shot. Alright, let's see here. There's another one. Yeah, I don't know if you can straight up. It's straight up there. Same exact path. And number 10. And number 10. Number 10 that I've seen. I mean, there are probably a lot more. He's got a nest around here. I 
it's funny, the first wave I saw was more on, you know, the, this side of Venus, and the, the last wave I've been seeing is more on the, the right side of Venus, from our perspective. Oh, there's another one, hidden, totally different way. Let's see if we can catch that one while we're, while we're out here. He's up there. Hope, hope that's visible. That's like number 13 here. Here comes another one. Yep. Lo and behold, same trajectory as the last ones here. It can be hard to see. They're a little bit fainter than the ones going the other direction. Maybe it's that Starlink, but I thought Starlink was all together. Not like this far apart. It's like number, was it 13 or 14? Number 11 from these, uh, from that fleet. That's an airplane coming across Venus there, or just above it. Let's do it. Let's do a zoom in on Venus there, just for the heck of it. While we're out here. It's funky how you see, uh, tries to focus in on it, it's so bright. Infrared, so we'll get a slightly different effect. I wonder if I can turn infrared off right here. Okay, it's now almost, uh, what do we got going here? Almost 820. So we have about 15 minutes. Is out of my sight there, but boy, that was kind of a flare up. Think about Matthew 24 and, you know, signs in the sky and all that, I'll tell you. Oh, I don't have to tell you. You see for yourself.
So here's someone back in November 2019, and uh, they're also in the uh, in the Netherlands here, and they uh, captured. Yeah, see that? See that's how it looked to them. Obviously, this is a uh, telescope, but that wasn't how it was to me. I mean, they were much farther apart, even much farther apart than this. Now I don't know how fast this is going down here. It's going pretty fast, actually. But it was, you know, it wasn't like that. It wasn't all visible in one sky, you know, frame like that. Not at all. Not at all. Maybe it's different. Maybe it's, you know, spread out in time. Maybe it's a different version of this old Starlink. Who the heck knows nowadays, you know, with all this oddball Corona stuff. And, uh, geez, it's just, you know, time to grab the Bible and look what it says in there because it's really really some amazing times we're living in right now well this might have been uh starlink I, I i searched here it says sorry the latest starlink isn't very visible at your location in the next five days but then down below it says you know at, right here at 753 and i'm a little bit uh, further uh, east of the hague so this might be right but only visible for six minutes that's wrong because I saw it from like 5 over 8 till, uh, you know, 15, 20 minutes later. So I'm not sure 100%, but it was going from west to east. It was, you know, it wasn't, I guess, you know, that bright, but maybe for Starlink it's bright. I don't know, but heck, I can I could try to see it tomorrow night, you know. See it, see if, if I see it again, then I know. Anyway, it was fun just, you know, kind of tripping out on it all. I, I, it was really amazing. Uh, and a lot of other satellite activity as well. I've never seen so many satellites up in the sky. And some, you know, some unexplainable flare-ups. I don't know if anyone knows what those were. Anyway, have a good one.